Hello and welcome to another edition of the South Carolina Business Review. This is Mike Switzer. Our state's technical college system plays an important role in workforce training, and part of that formula is leadership. Speaking of which, our state's second largest technical school now has a new leader, and we have him on the phone. Dr. Greg Little is the new president of Midlands Technical College in Columbia. Greg, welcome to the program. It is great to be here. Thank you for having me. Congratulations on this new position. Tell us what brought you here to this job. I've been interested in higher education for some time. I come from a primarily K-12 through background, but higher ed has always been interesting to me because when I think about the next 25 or 30 years of education in our country and, and the work that's being done and, and thinking about where our country is moving, really it's at the technical and community college space, which I think is where all the action is going to be. And it's going to be our ability to uh, produce a workforce that is flexible and agile, our ability to produce a workforce where the skills and dispositions that they have are not easily automated or replicated, you know, by a machine or by a computer. When we are able to do that and we can answer the questions that we are inevitably going to face because of greater innovation and and as technology continues to ramp up and, and have an even greater impact in our lives, the regions and the countries that are able to answer those questions are going to have a a real advantage over people who can't answer those questions. All right, so you've mentioned the word technology a few times there, and of course the buzzword for the past, I guess, decade has been advanced manufacturing. Now we have AI in the equation. How is all that factoring into what is being taught at, at Midlands Tech now? Well, certainly you see the state from an advanced manufacturing standpoint, um, that's not slowing down for South Carolina. And, and us in the Midlands, we're getting ready to see, you know, Scout Motors come in. It will be a major change for the Midlands in terms of manufacturing. Uh, and, and I believe we'll see uh, the same sort of impact that BMW had in the upstate Scout Motors is going to have on us. Uh, I do believe that artificial intelligence will be a major part of that as that continues to evolve and move forward. Maybe the best line that I've heard about artificial intelligence so far is that you're not going to lose your job to artificial intelligence. You're going to lose your job to someone who can utilize artificial intelligence. And so it will be incumbent upon us as as a technical college to teach our students about how to ethically use artificial intelligence as well as to maximize their production and utilize artificial intelligence as a tool as you would anything else. And now we understand that, speaking of Scout Motors, there will be a Midlands Tech campus on site there? Well, they are building a training center that we will certainly be a part of. We are currently helping them with their pre-hire work over near the Northeast campus as well. So we are putting forth a lot of energy and effort to support that effort. Now talk about the Northeast campus, um, also known as the Enterprise campus, where a lot of entrepreneurial activities are happening. It is indeed. So that Northeast campus, partially it's a hub of, uh, of what we do with mechatronics, which goes into the advanced manufacturing piece number one. We're hoping to grow that program. Uh, In fact, when you look at our sister colleges in the upstate, their mechatronics programs, they have seriously evolved over the last 30 years. So we see that as our model and know that our programs are going to have to grow and evolve as well when it comes to mechatronics. But the Enterprise Campus, we're an accelerator, so we're not an incubator, we're an accelerator. So it's for companies who have already got their feet on the ground, they still need a little bit of support to really deepen their roots and be able to stand on their own. All right, so I'm not sure everybody in our audience is familiar with that word, mechatronics. Could you tell us what that is? Mechatronics really encompasses any number of skills. It's essentially what I've always tried to think of it for the layperson, is they're the people who can troubleshoot and fix, repair, and maintain uh, the machines that are working in a manufacturing facility. Greg, thank you so much for spending time with us today, and and welcome to your new position. Well, it's so exciting to be a part of this uh, organization. Midlands Tech is a a tremendous community resource. They have incredible people here, and uh, I am fortunate to be uh, just a part of the MTC family. I'm absolutely thrilled and uh, just so excited about what the future holds. 
Dr. Greg Little is the new president at Midlands Technical College in Columbia. We will have a link to the school posted at our webpage so you can learn more, SouthCarolinaPublicRadio.org, where you can hear this show again. And don't miss a show by subscribing to our podcast, which you can find anywhere you find podcasts. With the South Carolina Business Review, this is Mike Switzer. The views expressed on the South Carolina Business Review do not necessarily reflect those of South Carolina Public Radio.